Hey, what's up, Transformer? And today we're gonna take a look at the Takara Tomi MP56 Trailbreaker. And this is basically a toy talk where I do the comp between the tune, reference model, and the toy or the picture of it. Well, before we get on with the video, this is the reference model. As you can see, basically this is what was given to the animation studios to kind of use as a reference to draw out Trailbreaker in the cartoon. And when I take a look at the cartoon itself, a Trailbreaker doesn't really have a definitive version, unlike some of the characters that were showcased in the 1986 Transformers the movie, Trailbreaker is basically a season 1 and 2 character with lots of different studios drawing him. And we can see that Trailbreaker in some images will have a squared off head, will have a torso that's a bit smaller, will have hips that's a bit bigger, and will have forearms that's a bit squared off, unlike what we see in the reference model. So with that said, let's get down to it. Okay, so here we have the cartoon reference model on the left and the MP56 Trailbreaker toy on the right. So let's get down to the comps. So first of all, we have the shoulder accessories or weapons. As you can see that the color here on the reference model is of the off-white color and on the actual toy, it's chrome in color. And the size is what really unmistakably different. The size on the reference is quite big and the size of the weapons on the toy is not as proportionate made but maybe for this little single barrel cannon here. The helmet sculpt on the reference model as you can see it's a bit more round in shape compared to some of the cartoon actual cartoon images where the head is very squared off. Here you can see that there's about a 5 to 10 degree angle of protrusion on the cheek guards but the toy has a very square of shape. The eyes or visors on the reference model is very rectangular in shape but the eyes on the toy is kind of blocked right by this little forehead crest piece here. The cheekbones on the cartoon reference is very pronounced and it's not so evident here on the toy as the whole cheeks are kind of submerged or inverted into the helmet. The shoulder sculpt on the toy is very very accurate to the reference model as you can see that the, even the top part, part and the little indentation here on the upper biceps are very close to the reference model and if you look at the forearms on the toy it's very squared off the color is in a very dusted gray whereas the reference model the forearms are not exactly squared off and it's an off-white color but in the cartoon we do see some of the color and drawings of Trailbreaker being of that dusty grain. The barrel here, nozzle piece on the left arms is quite big and you know, off-white color and the, it's a quite a good representation here on MP56 Trailbreaker. Similar sculpt details but it does tend to look a little smaller than the cartoon reference. The front windshield on the reference model is hidden slightly, just very slightly by the front hood section and that is true in the MP56 toy. However, we can see the obvious difference is that the hood on the reference model is like a slight of a V shape here and it's quite rounded but that's not the case here for the actual toy which is an actual representation of the actual Toyota Hilux truck. Now this reference chest piece here differs from cartoon to cartoon as we saw just now and some cartoons the, the chest piece tends to be a little smaller some images the chest piece tends to be a little squared off you know so it is what it is. The hip section here in the cartoon reference model is very small and the, and the toy makes a good representation of that but of course we know that in the cartoon the hips do vary in size. The thighs and knees including the, all the little sculpt details here right down to the lower knee section is very well represented in the toy as you can see that the sculpting on the thighs and the little details on the knee guards and knee areas and this little red section is a pretty good representation of the cartoon as well as we've got some little 
knee sculpting, lower knee sculpting area here, and there's little shin guards with which is a little diagonal in shape, and the toy makes a pretty good representation of that. And now down to the feet. Of the feet tend to be not as well followed by many third-party companies, and as you can see, the MP56 toy makes a good copy of that. Uh, there's not a lot of panel linings in the actual toy, and that is quite true to what we see in the reference model. Uh, however, in some angles, especially like, like looking at the photo, there is a bit of a gap here, and that's not going to be true in the actual cartoon, of course, but you can see in trying to make the feet cartoon accurate, there is going to be a bit of sacrifice there. The toe section on the MP56 toy seems to be flatter and less pronounced, but on the cartoon reference model, it is. So how many points of accuracy do we have for the toy compared to the cartoon reference models? Well, the shoulders for one, the hip section, thighs, knees, shins, and feet seem to be very good representation of the reference model. And those that are not cartoon accurate would be the shoulder accessories, the helmet, the chest piece, and maybe the forearms, as well as the size of like maybe the head and the hands or the barrels. But take this with a grain of salt, of course, because the reference model, as we saw in the cartoon, uh, we have squared off heads, which is represented here on the toy, and the chest piece can come in different sizes. But looking at the cartoon together with this toy, this little chest piece here isn't the best representation. Although this little overlapping front hood section to the windshield is quite representative of many of the cartoons cartoons because it's trying to copy what we saw in the reference model. So that is it for the Toy Talk comps this time around. What do you think of this upcoming MP56 Trailbreaker? Is this something that you are looking forward to or are you going to skip this toy because you already have a third party representation of it? Well let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and share buttons and also smash the sub and bell icons for more future vids. Again this is Ben signing off and I'll see you on the flip side.